Hey guys, this is Alex the Comic Quarter. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for checking out my channel. A little different setup right now because uh, I'm on the main floor of my house and the downstairs uh, got flooded. Uh, my office got flooded. My wife's photography studio got flooded. The, um, we have a theater room in the basement. It got flooded. We have a bar in the basement. It got flooded. Storage got flooded. We have a um, toy room that got flooded. Everything got flooded. Um, unfortunately, I did lose a couple uh, short boxes of comic books. Fortunately, though, uh, nothing major. My wife was a champ. When she called me, I was about two hours away, and she called me and discovered that the basement had flooded um, Tuesday night into Wednesday. And um, she called me, and <laughs> the first thing I was just asking, like, what in my office got wet? You know, I need to know. And she uh, double-checked. The X-Men run was fine. And speaking of X-Men run, I've got a surprise. So stay tuned till the end of the video and you will see what that surprise is. So without further ado, minute into this video, let's get into the comic books. Um, I don't usually show, um, you know, weekly books, but um, I just love this cover. You know, I'm reading a lot of books. I'm not reading Harley Quinn, but this Frank Cho cover. I was telling the 9-2 crew um, that... This cover, um, you know, when they when they first announced this, when I saw some of this art, I said, I'm going to get about five copies of this when it comes out. Frank Cho just did, did it right. And I only got two. So lied a little bit to the fellas, but I got two of those. Definitely, um, definitely one of my favorites for sure. All right. This is from um, a week or so ago, two weeks ago maybe. But I got the Addy Granoff. Number two of Electra, so I got that cover. Really excited about that when that was announced as well. We talked to the, about it a little bit on the show, maybe the second podcast, and so super happy to have been able to buy this. Now I did pay um, probably about what it's worth. Um, the shop that had it, I called and he told me what price he wanted for it, and I said, you know what, can't find it anywhere else, so I'll take it. So. Bought that for probably about what it's worth, but it's staying in my collection, so that's no problem. All right, the reason I bought this book, this is Eleanor and the um, Illinois, Eleanor and Egret. Okay, the reason I bought this was because this is a one in ten. It's going for about ten dollars now, and the artist is Elizabeth Torque. Now, um, I don't know much about Elizabeth Torque, but I know uh, she drew the cover for Electra number one, the standard cover, and I was just immediately drawn to her, looked her up on Google, and she is fantastic. So Elizabeth Torque, I bought this because it was a 1 in 10 variant of hers, and so I don't know if I'm going to read this or not. I wasn't a fan of the interior art. This is by Aftershock Comics. It's a number one, just came out this week, so... Who knows? Uh, just bought it for the cover and the variant. Chase variant would be proud of me. All right. Um, X-Force number one. Found another copy of this. This is the bloody variant. This is not going for much. About $5 is what I found um, on completed sales. But um, the guys and myself, 92 Crew, have been speculating on these bloody variants for X-Force. So just thought that was pretty cool. Clayton Crane. Five bucks or less, you can't go wrong with that. All right, no surprise, you guys. I'm going back to my my ways. Superman, Batman number nine. Awesome, uh, Michael Turner. You know, I haven't shown Michael Turner in probably about two or three hauls as far as, like, Superman, uh, Supergirl, stuff like that. Um, but Michael Turner, Supergirl, I can't quit you. So uh, there's that. Number nine. And number 19. So I found those for super cheap, maybe a dollar or two. Um, I got this book from Don the Comic Book Junkie and I was able to find another copy of it. So Wolverine Origins number one. Really happy to find that Michael Turner cover. Awesome, uh, awesome book there. So hopefully you can get a good glimpse of that. It's You can find this for cheap still, guys. So I'd pick that up. I'd start hoarding that book. It's a really cool Wolverine book. I gave, uh, I gave this book away um, to Aim High Comics and finally was able to get one back. This is Wolverine Origins number four. This is the Gabriel Del Otto. I think uh, Amazing Murfinator showed this book as well recently, and uh, that sword going through um, Wolverine's shoulder is just epic. So 
There is that. Wolverine Origins number four, Gabriel Del Otto. Speaking of Del Otto, this is a, what did I find? This is a 1 in 25 Gabriel Del Otto for Amazing Spider-Man number three. And this book is going for about $30. So I think I found this for under 10. So I was very happy to find this. I think this is my second copy. And this one might be going to a buddy of mine. So there is that awesome Gabriel Del Otto, Amazing Spider-Man number three. Look at that. I mean, just the light, uh, him hiding underneath uh, the stairs there. It's just awesome. All right. This book is one that's just not going for much. It may have picked up a little steam before maybe season three of Flash. I can't I can't remember where Jesse Quick has been, you know, what season she was real prominent in. But this is Justice. Justice hmm, you guys, it's been a long day. Justice Society of America. Just say it three times fast if you can. Um, number one, this is the first appearance of Jesse Quick. Uh, so keep your eye out for this book. It's just kind of one of those ones a little under the radar right now. I think um, it's not going for anything. Five bucks at the most maybe, but there it is. This one's in beautiful condition too, so happy to have another copy of this. Okay, um, when you think about Adam Hughes, you don't think about him drawing guys. So um, this is a book that I've passed up several, several times. And it is Action Comics number 900. I've seen a lot of people show this in their videos. Um, maybe Seeking Near Mint, Master X, Freddy's, probably Doom. All the 9-2 crew have probably showed this. Maybe Martian Comic Hunter. Uh, but this is Action Comics number 900. Um, fantastic uh, artwork. And this is actually going for about 15 bucks. So if you can find this, I found this for $2 down in Paducah, Kentucky. So if you can find this for cheap, I'd pick it up. All right, speaking of those bloody variants, this is a really cool um, Clayton Crane X-Force number four with Archangel on it, and blood is just all over him. This dude just gets covered in blood, and so that's a second print variant. All right, Uncanny X-Men 510. This is also a second print variant. And this one is going for about 10 to 20 bucks. Just a really gorgeous cover there. And I didn't do my due diligence and find out who the artist was, but absolutely love it. Um, great, great cover there. All right. Um, super happy to find this book. Um, and I found it for cheap. This is Batman 700. I feel like I've passed this up before for really cheap as well. But Batman 700... And this is a one in, let me see what I found, one in 25 variant. And this is a Mike Mignola uh, variant. And this is going for about anywhere from 50 to 60 bucks. And so that is a big deal. I think I paid less than $5 for it, maybe $4.50 for this book. But I'm super happy uh, to have found uh, this book. And I spent the time to actually look it up when I was there, so I, I knew I had to pick it up. Okay, another book that I was really happy to find, and I wouldn't be, um, wouldn't have found these next two books if it weren't for the Doom 143 and Seeking Near Mint Comics, um, Master X, and Freddy's 562. Got me looking in uh, G.I. Joe bin. So I found another Baroness and Huey's Comics, um, Huey's Comic Hideout. Man, I'm tongue-tied tonight, you guys. Huey, from the Blaster Stash at Crew, has this um, behind... Uh, behind him during the show so super happy to find my second copy of this Adam Hughes G.I. Joe awesome Baroness cover so there it is okay um, Doom sent out a message to the guys if you can find this book and I found one um, I would really like to find more of these I'm going to try to find more of these uh, I'd like to send him one but this Wolverine 315 this is this Susan G. Coleman um, for The Cure, and so uh, really absolutely gorgeous X-23 cover, so love it, love it, love it, um, really awesome. This doesn't go for anything, absolutely nothing, X and Furnace variant number four, um, it doesn't go for anything, but I just thought it was a cool cover, and I was happy to have it. I didn't even look at who is the um, artist, this says Travis. 
not sure. All right, I got in some of these. Iron Fist number one, Gabriel Del Auto. Can't even remember where I ordered it from, maybe Comic Exposure or something like that. But happy to have that. Everyone is showing that, so. All right, on the Iron Fist theme, Daredevil 174. Okay, I was searching for this book like crazy. I was even gonna go to eBay uh, to look for this book because when that Iron Fist show came out on Netflix, this book was going nuts. For like a minute, it was going nuts. And now it's back down super hard. Fell, the basement fell out of it. Five to ten bucks right now. Um, and in this condition, I, I would honestly not pay any more than five dollars for, for a book this condition. You can see there's stress marks there. Not a very great condition book, but happy to have the first appearance of the hand. Daredevil, 174. There it is. Look at that damage there. But still... Happy to have it, and I know I didn't pay anything but more than like a dollar or two for that book. All right, another book that was hot for a minute, and it's going for about 10 to $15. I found a copy in Paducah. It is safe. It's safe, you guys. I don't know what is happening with me, you guys. I need to go to bed. I need to take it easy. It's been a long uh, several days. Um, this is... Um, Star Wars number 49, The Last Jedi. It was super hot when um, the new movie got announced what the title was. And so The Last Jedi, this book got super hot. And you know, I have almost a full run of this old 70s, 80s Star Wars. Um, but I didn't look. I didn't look in my own. So I bought this. And just before I made this video, I went down and looked. And I have two other copies of this book. So, threw them in Mylar and wanted to show you guys in this video that I had two more. Missed the boat on, I don't sell much of anything anyways, but have, have three copies of that now. All right, you guys, on to some X-Men, Silver Age X-Men awesomeness. This is actually, um, not Silver Age, but one of my favorite books, the Uncanny X-Men number 135 absolutely love um, Phoenix Saga stuff and so this is Dark Phoenix and I absolutely uh, love that cover it's just stunning uh, to me as a kid looking through back issues I would see this book and just be captivated by it um, just the way that Dark Phoenix is just crushing uh, the X-Men logo there is, is really cool so happy to have this back in my collection now, I think I have most of all of um, Phoenix Saga, if not the whole thing. All right, you guys, this is it. I have finished my Silver Age X-Men run, 1 through 66. I can't believe it. Um, before I forget, Deadpool 2323. Um, actually, a longtime YouTuber um, just hit 100 subs. I'm going to post his link in the description below. Just ask that you guys go check him out. Um, if you like what you see, sub him up. He's an awesome guy. He knew I had one book left, and I'll show it here in a second. Had one book left. Um, I got a couple of these other books, too, um, within the last two weeks. But he knew I had one left, and he sent it to me. And I just got it today, and that's what prompted me to do this video. So without further ado, here's my list. You guys, here's the list. X-Men 1 through 66. All I need left is 51 55, 58, and 59. So here it is. I was able to find a copy of 51. This is a Jim Steranko cover. Really beautiful cover. Excellent condition book as well. Um, I would probably say um, 7.0, 7.5, um, if not higher. I mean, honestly, it could be like 8.0, honestly. So very, very nice book there. Absolutely love it. 51 is crossed off the list. Okay, you see that? 51. Now I'm on to 55. Here is Barry Windsor Smith art. And what drew me to this one as well, this particular copy is that date stamp. So there is that Barry Windsor Smith artwork. Um, Super happy to have this. A little bit of, um, you know, rubbing there on the top where it's discolored there. But 
super, super happy to have that with that really great date stamp there. All right, 55 off the list. Okay, this is the book that Deadpool 23, 23 sent me. This is the last one on my list. He had an awesome sale in his hometown at his LCS, and he bought this for me and paid and shipped it to me. And so super happy to have, um, once again in my collection, X-Men 58. First appearance of Havoc, when he becomes Havoc. Um, Alex Summers was in a couple issues before this, but this is the first appearance of Havoc. Havoc. So thank you so much, Deadpool 2323. Everybody go check him out. Really cool guy. And I love chatting comics with him. So thank you. I appreciate it, man. Um, this completed this book completed my x-men run so that is that's huge humongous that's my grail run that's my dream run is one through 66 all right another neil adams cover that was a neil adams cover and this is a neil adams cover um, x-men 59 really cool with the sentinels there and cyclops and so this is a little bit lower condition but um still uh, very, very presentable and fits well into my collection. And then I found another copy of 66. So um, I think this is an upgrade to my last copy, but I think I got this one for a few dollars, so I picked it up. All right, you guys, that is it. The next video I do will be a full-blown um, 1 through 66 showcase of Silver Age X-Men. So I'm just going to show off those books. It's done, you guys. I'm so pumped. Thank you so much to Deadpool 2323. Um, thank you so much to Drasir for sending me uh, one or two of these books as well. You guys are epic. You guys are awesome. I appreciate you all. Sorry it took me so long to make another video. Been really uh, preoccupied, you guys, uh, with that flooding going on in the basement, uh, losing some things. There's 23 dryer, or there's 23 fans in my basement right now, and then like two or three humongous um, dehumidifiers, and so it's about 100 degrees in my house right now, so um, anyways, uh, it's not about that, it's about these comics, it's about finishing my Silver Age X-Men run. You guys are awesome, and uh, what's next? What am I going to do next? What am I going to chase next? I was thinking about doing um, Daredevil 1 through 10 keeping it simple. It's not my grail run anymore. You know, I've already finished my grail run. Now it's just find something else that's fun. Find something else that I can be passionate about. Um, the thrill of the hunt is what I like and, and finishing and completing something. So um, thanks for watching you guys. Um, check out Deadpool 2323. Thank you so much guys and I will talk to you all later. See ya. Bye.